Today we're going to be tuning and riding the Dumpster Fire 1200 Turbo Harley. Now if you haven't seen the last video, I promised this video like six months ago. So sorry about the lag, it's just normally things go exactly as expected and for some reason building this custom ECU setup with a turbocharger and a Harley and converting it to fuel injection with the custom trigger wheel, nothing seemed to work as expected. I, I don't know why that was, but I had to redo stuff a bunch of times and now here we are. I added a wideband O2 sensor which is connected to the micro squirt, but it also just helps me see what my air to fuel ratio is. Now these first few starts are guess and check. Before I can use auto-tune, I gotta get it running at least well enough to idle. And a few hours later, she's purring like a kitten, not smoking like a freight train as much, at least at idle. Here, I'm trying to see how big a smile I can put on my own face because twisting the throttle and watching clouds of smoke exit these pipes just makes me happy. Sue me, hippies. Alright, just kidding, hippies. Don't sue me. After hours of back and forth action with the laptop, I was finally able to get a nice smooth stable idle and a nice startup. Now that the bike's running pretty smooth and steady state, I can fire up the auto-tune on the laptop and go for a ride. And I'll just set the laptop on the seat next to me. Hmm. My genius never ceases to amaze me. And this is me trying to turn the auto-tune on on the laptop, which is bungee corded to the motorcycle. I felt that three was the correct number of bungee cords since the laptop cost more than the motorcycle. I definitely got a lot of tuning done in the driveway, but there's still quite a bit left to do on the road. The auto tune worked really well though, and each time I was able to rev out a little bit higher and with a little bit higher load. At the end of my test and tune session, I was able to hit 6 pounds of boost pretty reliably, and the bike actually ran really well, so I was pretty stoked. Now this dumpster fire of a motorcycle is tuned well enough to run up to 6 pounds of boost, but it's definitely not optimized in 6 pounds of boost, it's really conservative. I can't promise a timeline, but I can definitely promise another video with this bike, and it's probably gonna involve more boost and a more aggressive tune. So if you haven't yet, subscribe, stick around, and you'll get notified when that video comes out. If you guys have any comments or questions on the build, feel free to drop them in the comments section below, cause I've been really enjoying reading your guys' comments and thoughts on the build so far. I'm an enthusiast just like you guys, and I get a kick out of what you had to say. I'm looking forward to the next one, but have a great rest of your day until then. Peace!